Hey, what's up, Life Bull Joe here. Today we are going to discuss the 2021 Lifetime original TV film, My Favorite Christmas Melody. It's an hour, 27 long minutes. Just like all the other Lifetime films, it's not terrible, it's not great, it's just meh. The problem with this is that a lot of this felt like I was watching a bad community theater production of something. It was just so over dramatic and over the top, like characters literally going, oh my goodness. And I'm like, that's not, that's not how you react. And that's not how you act because acting is reacting. That's not a thing. It was just so awkward. And it's unfortunate because it had a good concept where there's this, this singer songwriter whose Christmas song got jacked by this other artist um, because her agent uh, apparently didn't get the proper copyrights in or, or something. And then it turns out the next bit of Christmas songs all these years later, three years later, because we get an actual time bump, uh, jump. The next song that she co-wrote with this music teacher that works at her mom's school because her mom's a principal. Um, uh, their next song is uh, same thing. The the agent says, uh, no, company wants to produce it. But then the assistant to the agent says, oh yeah, no, she lied. You know, she didn't actually send it. She just gets a lot of cut from your, you know, writing of the commercials that you do. Things, very behind the back kind of things. But it's a matter of self-discovery within the Christmas spirit and working together to save the arts department of the, of the high school. And these kids that are performing are really talented. So it has its potential. It's just horribly executed. It's just not correct acting. I don't know if that makes any sense. It's not believable. Um, especially with just, there's that one character doing that. Oh my goodness. In such a awful way. It just really threw me off. Um, I liked the songs that were in there. I liked the original songs that were in there. That was fine. But Overall, I, I never have to watch this again. We're almost done with our mini Lifetime Christmas movie marathon. And then on to some other stuff. Um, on to some other big budget stuff. Um, so we'll see the difference. Because certain Christmas films are not good. And then others are really great. There you have the TV Christmas films. The Hallmark films. The Lifetime films. Thrown in the mix. Which are kind of okay. But also kind of terrible. They're just meh. I want a great Christmas film coming up we've seen some really great christmas films we've seen some really terrible christmas films we've talked about mediocre christmas films all these lifetimes ones that i've seen that we've been talking about recently have been meh i want yes hopefully the next one is a yes on to the next review <laughs> which mahalo